When the first of a new series of Odyssey centric developer diaries launched a couple of weeks ago there was also a flurry of new written interviews and previews for the upcoming expansion. Whilst Frontiers community team have been somewhat reticent to answer any questions around the Odyssey expansion that wall of silence did get ever so slightly breached by the developer interviews that were conducted. In this video we're going to take a look at the information that can be gleaned from those interviews that hasn't been released by Frontier through any other channels. If you enjoy this video remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. One of the biggest and most controversial points floating around the community about Odyssey right now is the whole issue around movement within your ship. Let's just cover that off right from the start. In the articles that we looked at only the article from Polygon makes mention of it. The Polygon article claims that the feature is being developed but that it won't be available at the launch of Odyssey. This kind of get the expansion out and then fill it with features later approach is something we've seen from Frontier with regard to Elite before so we wouldn't be at all surprised if it turned out to be the case here. The article goes on to state that Frontier are undecided at the moment on how players will transition from their ship or SRV to being on foot. The transition from a ship to a planetary surface is a distinctly different issue to walking around in a ship. One obviously requiring the modelling of the ship interior and associated gameplay the other you could argue might at the most just require the cockpit to be traversable. Or we could be in a situation where we're selecting leave ship from a menu and spawning at the bottom of the stairs outside your ship. To us that last scenario seems unlikely. If Odyssey is going to work like the rest of Elite you'd rapidly find yourself in a situation where player character avatars from other ships would be spawning in and out of existence right in front of you and that just isn't very Elite. Same goes for SRVs. We think what we'll probably see at the very least is players losing control for a brief few seconds after choosing to depart or enter a ship or SRV and their player character going through the motions of climbing in or out of whatever the vehicle in question is. It was mentioned in the dev diary and then repeated in a number of the articles that Frontier wants Odyssey players to have a Neil Armstrong moment when they set foot on the surface of a new world. It seems unlikely to us that that requirement would be satisfied by the player just spawning out of thin air quite literally at the foot of the steps. It seems much more likely to us that perhaps spawning in an airlock and then exiting and walking down the steps would be the bare minimum needed to achieve such a moment. Threads from a couple of the articles, notably the pieces on Twinfinite and WCCF Tech, allude to the planetary starports being the social hubs that were mentioned in the original Odyssey announcement. It also seems that at planetary starports we'll be able to interact directly with mission givers rather than them being a face on a screen and upgrade our personal weapons and equipment there. It also seems that in these social spaces players will be safe with weapons fire not being allowed somehow. According to Twinfinite, WCCF Tech and Destructoid will also be interacting with NPCs from factions at planetary settlements and accepting missions from them. The settlements are distinctly different to planetary starports that have landing pads etc. You can also apparently just choose to massacre the inhabitants of a settlement or trade with them or pirate them etc. The use of words like trade or pirate in regards to settlements that don't traditionally at least have a landing pad for your ship poses an interesting question. If it is indeed the case that these settlements don't have a landing pad for your ship still how are the goods that you trade or pirate transported to and from your ship? Is it something you can carry yourself? Or are we talking larger bulk items and if so how are they moved from your ship to the settlement? A couple of the articles did try to dig into the question of new SRVs and surface vehicles but Frontier are tight lipped on the subject at the moment. I'd be frankly astonished if new SRVs at the very least don't make an appearance in Odyssey but there is no direct evidence of that right now. 
When it comes to the first person shooter gameplay, how that will be paced and how it will feel we are seeing some consistency in responses there from a couple of articles. The general feeling we got was that the gunplay and pacing will err on the side of realism than an arcade like experience something that would help calm the fears of those thinking Elite Dangerous was about to turn into something with the pace of Fortnite and it also looks as though there will be options for stealth and tactics as well as a full head on assault. In summary then it's perhaps no real surprise that Frontier seems intent on taking the gameplay and systems that we have with our starships right now and adapting and transposing the philosophies in that gameplay to the on foot experience. That's to say trade, combat, exploration, piracy, smuggling, engineering etc. It appears they're keeping the pace of the gameplay more on the side of realism perhaps with just moments of frenetic action. Also our feeling is that it would be wise to set your expectation that any serious in ship first person gameplay will be left for a future addition to Odyssey and there's still decisions being made at Frontier about how the transitions from ships and SRVs to on foot will happen. As for orbital starports and platforms and any EVA gameplay if you'll pardon the pun that seems rather up in the air right now. The WCCF article does contain the words quote ...get out of your ship and form float unquote but no amount of googling form float with words like EVA, NASA, space etc turned up any results showing that to be some piece of space parlance that we were unfamiliar with. Your guess is as good as ours. Personally overall we were quite encouraged by what we read in the articles. Taken in isolation it was difficult to garner much of a meaningful picture from much of the press that surrounded the FDEV diary but when digested and dissected as a whole we do feel that a picture is emerging. With the information that we've garnered here we could happily speculate on what it all means until the cows come home but what are your thoughts on what's been said so far? Are you encouraged? Do you think Odyssey will bring enough to the table to keep you engaged? Let us know in the comments. Future dev diaries and FDev reveals cannot come soon enough. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>